Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on sharing with you guys a few web security tips for your Django applications. Now, the first thing which I would like you guys to do is before you go ahead and actually deploy your Django application, be sure to run the following command, which is pysm manage.py check dash dash deploy. And this is going to give you a list of steps that you can go ahead and rectify in order to ensure that your Django application is secure. So here we can see we have a couple of issues. So the first issue here is that we have not set a value for our secure HSTS seconds setting here. It also gives you a bit of a description here as to what this security setting is about. You can see if we scroll down, we have another point here and it says your secure SSL redirect setting is not set to true. Next, we can see here it says your secret key has less than 50 characters, less than five unique characters, or, or it starts with uh, the prefix with Django insecure. And we can also see here some more details as to why it's important to rectify this issue and to solve it. And as we scroll down here, we can also see we have an issue with our session cookie. So our session cookie secure setting is not set to true. All right, another issue here we can see, you have django.middleware.csrf.csrf view middleware in your middleware, but you have not set csrf cookie secure to true. So we can see we have a bunch of issues here that Django is telling us that we need to sort out before we deploy our application. Now to combat most of these issues here, I do have a guide actually on my website here. So this is my blog. So Django Web Application Security Checklist, that's one of my articles. So I do go ahead and in detail here, give you some tips here to go ahead and better manage these warnings. Okay, there are some warnings that you need to figure out for yourself. However, I have covered quite a couple in terms of the setting the debug to false, um, just initiating this deployment checklist, which I, which I just showed you now, how to set up cross-site scripting and to ensure that you're prevented against these cross-site scripting attacks, should I rather say, how to ensure that you have SSL redirect, how to change the default Django admin URL. This is very important. So you need to always make sure you, you change that accordingly. How to set up this HTTP strict um, transport security policy here. So this is one of the first things that was mentioned right here to set a value for your secure HSTS seconds setting to ensure that we have CSRF protection enabled. So this has to do with the session cookie secure and the CSRF cookie secure settings as well. That's something to also go ahead and add. Um, and then, of course, we have Python decouple here. So this has to do with environment variables. Of course, I've covered that extensively on my channel. So whether you're using Django environment.env, Python decouple, you have very, you have a lot of options to make use of. And then, of course, um, some more information in terms of the content security policy and also a good sign that you can utilize to check all of this. But I will be sure to add a link in the description below for this checklist that you can go ahead and read into more detail and just browse through it. OK, so that's just the one thing I wanted to mention. Now, let's say for argument's sake, you do deploy your Django application, OK, and you want to do some further security checks, you can do so. So let's say you've deployed your Django app with HTTP or with HTTPS, either way, okay? So you need to then deploy your application once you've solved all these issues, but it can be that you may be missing one or two issues. Now, for this use case, what you can do is you can utilize this really good um, checker here called DJ Checkup. So it specifically checks Django applications here. So I have a hosted um, website here from AWS, and I'm just going to paste my um, domain name right here accordingly. So I'm just going to paste that in and I'm going to run a checkup of my site. Now remember to do this checkup, okay, I will ensure first of all that I add in the links in the description below for what I'm using here and just make sure you have your website deployed. It can be HTTP or HTTPS, it doesn't matter as long as it's deployed on a server, then you can run a checkup on your site. All right, so we can see the process was completed. Now what we can do is say view your results here. And here we can see some information such as debug that has not been enabled, HTTP does not redirect to HTTPS, so that is something that we need to ensure we set up. And what DJ Checkup also does is it also goes ahead and gives you some information here in terms of references. So for example, here it says HTTP does not redirect to HTTPS. It does give you a guide here in terms of references for how you can go ahead and solve it and better it. 
You can also see here HTTPS not enabled. That, that makes sense because my website is not secure. HSTS has not been enabled. XFrame header enabled. So some of these settings here you may not recognize, but generally speaking, Django also has some built-in security set on by default. So just keep that in mind. Um, insecure Django, uh, insecure Django admin site. So basically, um, you need to make sure that you change your Django admin um, route. Basically, so instead of heading over to localhost forward slash admin, you should change it to something unique. We can also see no logon site um, found. Okay, trace method disabled and CSRF cookie found. So it found some sort of CSRF cookie. Um, just one thing I want to mention about this site here by the debug part. Right? This part here I see doesn't always um, check 100%. So as you can see here, um, there is sometimes a, a chance when it doesn't pick up everything. So you do need to also use caution here. But it is something extra to go ahead and add in just to give you extra um, you know, information and context. So just one thing I want to advise you is just double check your debug settings here. Make sure it's set to false because sometimes this DJ checkup I've noticed sometimes um, doesn't pick up on the debug part. So just a tip there I want to mention. But everything else here should be perfectly fine. So generally speaking, as we can see here, I don't have any of that set up for my website. And it's very useful to just use an extra measure. But however, one thing I do want to mention is it's not good to just use one site. You need to use multiple sites for your reference. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and set up uh, this article here on the best third party tools to utilize for Django deployment. So here I give you a variety of tools. So you don't just have DJ checkup. I do go into Mozilla Observatory, SSL Trust, Secure, Security Site Check, and just a bit of information on researching. Now, the next one we want to look at is Mozilla Observatory. So what you can do is you can go ahead and copy your domain and you just want to enter that in and say scan me. And this is going to give you a site score. So it's probably going to be very bad for me because I didn't set any security things for this website. Um, but I wanted to show you this way because to show you something that's very secure isn't going to be very helpful to you. So it's best to show you what an insecure site looks like. So here, D minus, yeah, that's pretty awful. Um, I've passed seven out of 11 tests, scored 25 out of 100, pretty bad. Okay, we can see some more information on our um, application. And here, you can see here, you get points for, you know, all the tests that you pass and the tests you fail. So the main ones I can see here, okay, would be the X, um, the cross-site scripting protection is not implemented. And no redirect rule to HTTPS. I haven't got HT, HSTS. And I haven't got a, a content security policy implemented. I haven't got that set. Now, do keep in mind your points here can also go higher. So, for example, here by cross-origin resource sharing, the score is zero. But what can also happen is it can also go up. So everything that is in the green can also go up. So here by plus five, this can go up to plus 20. This by zero can go up to five or it can go to minus five. It really depends on how many things you set up in your application in terms of the safety. And yeah, that's all I wanted to really um, mention about um, the security tips here. So you do have now some third party tools that you can utilize as well. And you also have a checklist just to double check your application. And one important thing I want to mention is I'm not going to, I haven't got everything covered because of course, there's a lot of other things that you need to keep into mind. That's why I do suggest as a final point that you go ahead and research as well. You need to also do your own due diligence um, as well. So just something I wanted to mention there. I don't hold the keys for everything, but this should really put you off to a good start and get you at least in the way of syncing and heading over to the right direction when you are deploying your application. Okay, so that's it guys. Just a bit of some information here in terms of web security tips. I will be sure to include the following articles in my uh, description and I'll also add in the these two links here for these websites that you can go ahead and check out. Just also remember the most important part is if I can give you some concrete advice here is to utilize this command here. So python manage.py check deploy. So that's what we use at the beginning of the video. That's probably the most important part and the most reliable out of everything here. It will really give you a good sense of what you need to set up to secure your Django application. Okay, so that's it guys. And yeah, as always, thank you for the support and I'll see you next time.